<laughs> R. Kelly, the one and only, my goodness gracious, probably the best R&B musician arguably alive right now in our studio. And we love this song, I Believe I Can Fly. Ironically, R. Kelly, a reluctant flyer. He hates yeah. to fly. Oh, that is interesting. He's got a big concert uh, Saturday at the Prudential Center and some other appearances we're going to talk about. But R. Kelly, welcome for the first time, I think, yeah. to Good Day New York. My cousin. It's good to be here. You Thank guys you are guys. related by how? On yeah. your yeah. mother's side, father's side? A distant we'll uncle. We'll get into how it all happened and we'll <laughs> <down> later. <laughs> you know? But seriously, you talk about I believe I can fly and yeah. you can't fly. Well, you know, it's, it's all about spiritually. You know, from the inside, I can fly. It's more like saying I believe, but you know, I've been on planes, but you know, bad experiences. So you I've prefer never the like planes. You prefer the like that John Madden guy, you prefer the bus. Don't say that. Yeah, I mean, but yeah. Yeah, the you, bus. Okay. Tour bus, yeah. So Mimo, what happened with your tour bus this morning? Because you've oh been through the mill goodness. this morning. I, you know huh? what? I, I think I need to give the bus driver a raise because I don't know how I made it here. Really? Why? Traffic. What happened? A lot of traffic. The streets are really small, and you got the this big bus coming through. Everybody blowing, they cursing us out. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> Do you have your name I on the side of the bus? I, <laughs> Do you I had to sneak off the bus like this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have your name on the side of the bus? No. <laughs> yeah, you got to be Thank discreet. God. Low profile. <laughs> People will be filing lawsuits every time you turn around. <laughs> Absolutely. R. Kelly, what's in store for us uh, Saturday night for those who go to the Prudential Center to see you live? All I can tell you, man, is to expect the unexpected. I love, you know, getting on stage, being spontaneous. I practice and I rehearse, but every time I get on stage and feel the energy from the fans, which are my best friends, I just change the program every time. You so do? I can't even tell. Are you going to be singing? I know you have a new album, The Buffet. Yeah, The Buffet. And what's that all about? Well, it's all you can hear. <laughs> First of all, you know, uh, I've been through three, at least three generations. I've been blessed enough to be in the business for, what, 27, 28 years now. And, um, and I got, I'd be looking out over my audience and I'd be seeing the younger crowd, the middle-aged crowd, the older people, and it's like, wow. Some people are waiting on Step in the Name of Love, some are waiting on I Believe I Can Fly, some are waiting on Ignition. And I say, if I go in the studio this time, I'm going to do some of all of that, you know, and just put it all together and give these people this musical food, you know what I'm saying? So I call it the buffet. That's uh, that's a fantastic concept. I like yeah. R. Kelly, tell us about life in Chicago. That's where you grew up, right? Yeah, I grew up in Chicago. Uh, thank God, <laughs> you know. Why thank God? <laughs> well, because, you know, since I was a kid, it's been rough in Chicago and it's gotten nothing but worse, you know, and uh, unfortunately, and <clears throat> I've been trying to figure out a way musically to change that, you know, somehow, but can't do it by myself, of course, but it's really rough out in Chicago right now. So, you know, you guys pray for Chicago, you know, because it's crazy. <laughs> and, and you've changed too. You have yeah. evolved over the years. I mean, Absolutely. you've had some bad press over the years. Absolutely. You've done some things I'm sure you regret it. Absolutely. I've been through the windmill of life, but you know, you know, it's, it's how you handle things you go through and you know, that would shine a light on the measure of your worth. Do you, you think know, that so. the success in the beginning kind of just maybe made you look at things in a different way, not respect things, not respect people? No, absolutely. I respect the world. I'm a, uh, a person that absolutely loves all genre of people and, and everything, you know. And uh, I don't feel like I've ever taken advantage of that. I've never taken advantage of my gift. That's why I'm still around today. It is a gift, God-given, safe Absolutely. to say, but you've worked hard. What was the luckiest break of your career? You have all the talent in the world, but sometimes you need a little luck along the way. Well, getting Michael Jordan, to, uh, well, Michael Jordan asking me doing a basketball game to, to write a song for him. The Space That's Jam movie. Space Jam. Absolutely. My son must have watched that Space Jam movie a million times, and I believe I could fly was, I mean, yes. such an inspirational song. Absolutely. Yeah, I used to look at, you know, the Grammys and things like that, and I used to think that, no, those are cartoons. That, that is not real. But, you know, I believe I could fly landing me three Grammys. And to me today, to this day, it's still like a cartoon. It's not It's not real to me. You now, know? is it true that you once walked away, not totally from music, but you put it on hold to uh, be a professional basketball player? Semi-pro. Semi-pro. Yeah, yeah. uh, and you had already achieved a lot of success. <laughs> yeah. You went semi-pro. Tell us about your experience as a b-ball player. Well, first of all, basketball is my first love. You know, everybody that knows me know that. You know, basketball is my first love. And if I had put 
all that I put into music, into basketball, then I probably would be <laughs> Michael Jones. <laughs> I don't know, you know, but somewhere around that. You played not too far from Atlantic City, right? Yeah, Atlantic City Seagulls. We, and by the way, we won a championship, you know, the, when I joined the team. Uh, yeah, so we had a lot of fun doing that. And I left my career for about two years to go train and, you know, and, uh, you know, trial for the team and, and, and actually made it. The music business is a difficult business. I mean, you really have to kind of reinvent yourself. I, I noticed yeah. you've been doing a lot of collaborations, Bruno mm -hmm. Mars, mm -hmm. Lady Gaga, yeah, right? Justin absolutely. Bieber. Mm -hmm. um, how does that help, like, you know, keep the music alive, keep your brand going well, strong? It, it helps tremendously, you know, because for one, you know, it's always fans love to see stars come together. Uh, you know, it's, it's interesting to see that, that thing happen because you're getting the best of both worlds every time. You're getting a little bit of, of everything. And for Lady Gaga and those guys to reach out to me and ask me to sing, I was shocked when they did it because I was like, what the heck am I going to sing with Lady Gaga? <laughs> she's going she to send me a track through the email. I'm like, okay. So when I heard it, I just, you know, do what you want, it. right? Yeah, do what you want. Hey, right? when you do write a song, do you write it on a piece of paper? Do you write it on a computer? I'm curious. Uh, yeah, where, do you, what, where do you actually you know, scribble it down. Well, I'm pretty much a freestylist. Every every song I've ever written, you know, I go in, I, you know, I have my stogie set up. I have me a stogie. So, yeah, I see yeah, you. My, you got a cigar. stogie in your hand right well, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's well, not lit, right? No, it's not lit. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's nothing, you know. But I, I will set that up, some Hennessy or something, and I sit there at the, at the mic. I put the track on, and I just begin to write whatever I see, you know, because I see music. I don't, I don't hear it. I, I, I just see, I see it. Hmm. Wow. I know it's early, hmm. and I know sometimes artists want to strangle me when I ask this. <laughs> But would you say <coughs> a little bit of "I believe <coughs> I can fly"? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I knew that was got so. You know, I was about to <laughs> clean my room. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. I see me running through that open door. I believe I can fly. I believe. I believe I can fly. I believe. I believe I can fly. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I've been flying that way. You know. <laughs> What's the word? Anointed? You know what I mean? It just seems oh, thanks, really, man. really special. Thank you, and I apologize, but I think everybody enjoyed that. Hey, so. Well, thank you. <laughs> right up to the part Rosanna sang. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I you tried to come with the remix. I don't know. <laughs> I got the remix. Anyway, thank you. Don't forget, you can go see R. Kelly's at the Prudential Center on yeah. Saturday. Also at Foxwoods on Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. And the new yeah. album, The Buffet. Buffet, all you can hear. It's coming out in September. <laughs> R. Kelly, thank you for being here.